Hello and welcome to your next Gary's Mod Wire tutorial. Today we're going to talk about two different devices, although they are, you know, related in function, as you can probably guess in the title. Text Entry, which is this one, and a Text Receiver, which is that one. Uh, so, Text Entry first. So this thing, it's pretty much just like a keyboard, it lets you enter in text. Um, you can link it to a vehicle, but I'm not going to this time. Uh, to link it, you just uh, um, right-click on the thingy, and then the uh, text entry, and then you right-click on the vehicle. But I'm, what I'm going to uh, untick this disable use, because if you do that, then it'll let you type in something here, and then you see it, it, it goes away pretty quickly, like that. Alright, so, I mean, pretty much it just lets you enter in text whatever you want, and you see in the top uh, right, or mm, the top left up there, that uh, the text, ver the output text changes. Uh, so, it really doesn't do that much, or it's really, I'm not, no, sorry, it's really not that complicated. I mean, you know, you type something in, and then it outputs it, and that's pretty much all you would really need to do with it. If you want, you can block input from it, because you see the input up there that says block input, so if you just, like, wire, like, a, goodness sakes, uh, if you wire the, um, whatever, uh, like a button to it or a constant value to it and you put that to one then it won't let you enter into it and if you prompt then it'll you know open up the prompt so let's just show you that button prompt there and there we go it opens up and I can type in whatever I want like um, uh, Gary's mod it doesn't matter really you just whatever um, so that's pretty much what text entry does. You can use it if you want to probably implement something like a password on things, or if you just want to have like sh commands. Like I, I might end up using this thing for my for one of my control system things. If you know what I'm talking about, you can go look at my other videos for like spaceships and stuff. Cause yeah, you know I'm not exactly sure, but that's pretty much what that does. So the next thing, which is the text receiver, is interesting. So y you put this here thingy down. Let's open up the debugger as usual. So this is activated when you type into chat. So you see I typed in hello world and then the top left it changed and now it says messages hello world which is what I typed in. Player is the player that just said the message and match one is whether or not it matches the first thing. So if we go into here, there it is. And you see the match one is hello world and I didn't type world with capital but the case insensitive is on so naturally if I went here and I did, well obviously that's not gonna match. I did that, it doesn't match because it's not the right case, but if I switch case, it matches. Um, so that's what that does. Now Lua patterns are a little bit more complicated. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, and the Lua patterns I'm going to talk about at a different time because it's, you know, kind of a more complicated topic. Uh, if you know regular expressions, it's kind of like that, um, but not quite. Um, so yeah, I don't want to talk about it right now because it'll make the video way too long, but I'll probably have a separate video about it at some point, I don't know when. but. You probably won't need that, to be honest. You'll probably It's probably better just to leave it in the default settings. Obviously, if you want more matches or whatever, you just add a bunch more. But if you just... Default settings are probably good. You can just enter whatever you want in here. And this way, you can... I don't know. Let's say you want to implement a command. Let's say you have a bomb, because those are always fun, right? Uh, let's go open up me a bomb. Put a bomb over yonder. Wire that bomb's detonate to match one. Oops. Anything that's not what I just said would be good. Thank you. So it's not matching. And then let's say when I type in hello world, it blows up. So if we may want to make the command of something a little bit more like, you know, action-y, like detonate or run away or something, then you can like, you know, type that in and it'll blow up the bomb or whatever for, uh, you know, fun and profit maybe, depending on who you're blowing up. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. It's not, like, terribly exciting, but it is useful stuff, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.